We are pleased to be joined by Karen Grzynski, who is choral director at Somerville High School, part of our NJA partnership, Classroom Close-Up, a great series that you can see on uh, our sister station, uh, NJTV. You watch Classroom Close-Up. Yes, I do. It's a great series, right? It's wonderful. Well, you're in it. I'm in it. Tell Coming everyone up. why. Uh, Somerville High School Chamber Choir has a wonderful uh, relationship with the students at the Midland School. Describe the Midland School. Midland School is a wonderful nonprofit school for special education, uh, meeting the needs of many developmentally disabled students. So your choral group gets together with their choral group once a year. Once a year. Magic happens? I would say so. So you say it. I've read about it. Classroom Close-Up featured it. You haven't seen the video. I haven't seen the video. The way this is set up is they didn't want us to see it until we see it together here in the public television studio. How's that? That's great. Classroom Close-Up, it's a powerful video. Check it out. Some nights I stay up, cashing in my bag. Karen Gorzinski and the Chamber Choir of Somerville High work hard to create great harmonies. But today will be about much more than perfect technique. For the past seven years, Karen's Choir has held a joint concert with Linda Lara's Choir at the Midland School which specializes in the care and development of special needs students. In 2007, I was nominated for a Somerset County Arts Teaching Award. I did not receive the award, but Linda Lara did. And I was so moved by her work that I made sure I met her and congratulated her, but also said, I would love for my choir to work with your choir. And I said, I'm all for that because we need uh, experiences with the community for our students. Karen and I get along beautifully and music is the unifying experience for us and so we just went with it. Uh, Mrs. Lara said Gabby is super, super excited. Not only to have a solo but to be sharing it with somebody. That you're, she's gonna go back and forth with you know, with someone else is very exciting. So, yeah, I'm already gonna cry, so. <laughs> All right. I'm really excited, because this is always one of my favorite trips out of the year, and the music department here does a lot of them, but this is, like, the number one that we all look forward to. Having gone last year, um, the nervous energies have gone away because I've already been there, and it is a lot of fun. This is another example of the universal language bringing people together. I feel like it could heal the world. It's awesome. Hi, Ellen, how are you? Somerville High is warmly welcomed by the Midland School with high fives. Hi, Minnie Ella. How are you doing? Hi. I remember you from last year. And plenty of hugs. The day will include a pizza luncheon and a concert for the Midland School faculty and students. It's just a beautiful moment to be singing with everybody and especially sharing the solo with Gabby. Like I was able to sing with her and just make music with her and it was wonderful. It was great. I feel confident to sing Let It Go from the whole school. Sometimes I get nervous, but Mrs. Larris just says, just let it go. <laughs> it doesn't matter what language you speak, what ability or disability you have, everyone enjoys music and, and can be brought together with music. The concert made me feel most excited and happy. I, I love my students, <laughs> and I am very proud, very proud of what they did today. They have big hearts. Go ahead. Um, I'm glad that really captures what we do. It's, it's a wonderful um, collaboration. It makes me proud of my kids again when I see it. Well, I was really proud that day, but to, to see it, that, that's really what we're doing. I can't believe it. I'm happy other people are gonna see it. A lot of people are gonna see it. What do your kids get out of it? Uh, boy, they get so many things. Obviously, uh, what music can do to bring people together but I think on a whole different level, it opens their hearts to uh, accepting students with special needs. Um, they would not be together unless we took this trip because once a parent decides to put their child in Midland, there's no inclusion like in public school. So we have to physically go there for those kids to experience inclusion. And I think it's important. 
I really think it's super valuable. I think other teachers should find ways to reach out to special needs schools. They don't meet until the day of. Correct. But there's some carryover from the year mm. before. So some of them knew yeah. each other, a lot of them did not. Why did you reach out for Linda, the other teacher? Why did you do that? I was so moved by her having a choir in that school. I had no idea what went on at Midland School. And that she has a choir with those kids was so powerful to me. And I, I just thought more people should know about it. And if I brought my kids there, more people would know. And now we ended up on Classroom Close-Up, so now even more people will know. Yeah. Why did you go into teaching? Oh, I just love kids. I would have taught, I, I thought maybe I was gonna teach English. I didn't know what I was gonna teach until I was in high school, but I knew I was gonna teach. This experience with your kids, together with the Midland kids, what has it done for you? It gives me, well, it's a great source of pride, but it gives me hope. Like, I hope that I am instilling in my students so much more than just the ability to read music, but to use music as a tool for good. Music as a tool for good. It's a lifelong interest. They can do it forever. They can use it to bring people together. They can use it for themselves if they're feeling down. You can join a choir somewhere. You can use it for your whole life. Is music some sort of, as it was described, universal language? Absolutely. Absolutely. You look at our society in times of trouble, people gather and sing. Sorrow, yeah. we sing. <clears throat> Joy, we sing. I gotta ask you this, um, for about a year now I've asked people of all stripes who are leaders the most significant leadership lesson they've learned after watching you on Classroom Close Up and seeing the kind of leader you are, I need to ask you, as an educator, as a person, as a professional in your field, what is the most significant leadership lesson you learned? Hmm, it's a great question. I feel, in the way I lead, um, we have got to teach the whole child. That concerns me, that we're, we focus on testing and those types of things, which is very important. But I was strongly led by my music teachers because it, it just fills um, human spaces that need to be encouraged, rather than strictly academic areas. Teachers are leaders. Every day. Karen Gorzinski, choral director at Somerville High School, is a terrific leader, an even better person. Glad you're in the classroom. On behalf of all the parents who have their children in public school, I say this every time, I just want to repeat it with you. Thank you for everything you do every day for our kids. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence, and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, New Jersey Resources, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, Berkeley College, New Jersey Sharing Network, and by MagnaCare. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.